need for mobility in strategic deployment is rapidly revolutionizing today's Army. New test approaches in tactics, organization, and equipment will result in the development of the new 9th Infantry Division motorized by 1986. Studies and analysis conducted by the 9th Infantry Division identified a need for the capabilities of conducting actions against all types of enemy anywhere on the extended airland battlefield. A prototype OH-58 Scout with attack capabilities, OH-58X, was developed to meet these requirements. A combination of present scout helicopter and attack helicopters, the OH-58X allows for ease and strategic deployment. Utilization of direct view optics and an integrated cockpit management system and a forward-looking infrared system make the OH-58X a valuable alternative in tactical scout configurations. Instrumented tests of Scout II were conducted in July 1984 at Fort Hunter Liggett, California by Project Team 1 of the Combat Development Experimentation Center, CDAC. With members of the 9th Infantry Division to include C Troop of the 3rd to 5th Cavalry, their Aviation Unit Maintenance and the Aviation Center, along with Armor Company C, ESC, CDEC, Team 1 set out to meet the following objectives. To provide data and analysis on the capabilities of a single pilot non-rated observer crew to conduct day-night operations in comparison to a rated crew. To provide data and analysis on the capabilities of alternative scout team configurations to perform aero scout functions. To provide data and analysis on the contributions of direct view optics, DVO, and or cockpit management system, CMS-80. Trials consisted of air cavalry teams flying zone reconnaissance missions against an array of targets distributed over the instrumented range at Fort Hunter Liggett. Test participants consisted of 16 observers divided among the Aero Scout team configurations. Half the observers were pilot rated officers, the other half non pilot rated enlisted. Team configurations consisted of two OH 58Cs and an AH 1S and two OH 58Xs designated JOH 58C. Distinction between the OH-58C aircraft and the JOH-58C aircraft is primarily the addition of the following systems. Direct view optics, DVO. Forward looking infrared systems, FLIR. Cockpit management system, CMS-80. And folding rotor blades, movable vertical fin, and collapsible skids which facilitate aircraft loading requirements. For trial purposes, the relevant features of the DVO are the stabilized optics and the laser rangefinder. Relevant features of the CMS-80 are control of the radios, the navigation systems, and the airborne target handoff system. These systems allow the OH-58X, JOH-58C to detect and identify a target, estimate its range, engage or hand off the target to other indirect fire means, and assess battle damage of the target in both day and night operations. All this with direct communication with troop headquarters via the CMS. Scout 2 was a highly controlled one-sided detection and handoff with engagement test. CDAC Armor Company C portrayed the Op 4, or Red Force, and represented the first echelon in a hasty defense posture. Target array was a minimum of a tank company minus, eight tanks, two APCs, and two M551 Sheridans. The Blue Force in an air cavalry role was assigned a mission of zone reconnaissance. Pre-mission planning, map reconnaissance, and review of intelligence reports were conducted along with contingency planning and pre-mission checklists. Upon completing their mission planning, crews prepared for takeoff. Flying nap of the earth along a prescribed route, observers began seeking out targets. Upon detection, the observer was required to identify the target by type, azimuth, range, grid, coordinates, and status. The CMS-80 allowed timely dissemination of this information to be communicated directly to troop headquarters and to receive orders as to the disposition of detected targets. 
Dependent upon orders, targets were either engaged in direct fire or directed to be bypassed. Some targets were engaged by handoff to the AH-1S or accompanying JOH-58. Trials continued until all observers had an opportunity to detect all targets. With the combined efforts of SEDEC personnel, the 9th Infantry Division, and the Aviation Center, Scout 2 acquired accurate and viable data. This data will represent a major step forward in the establishment of the new 9th Infantry Division motorized, as well as data used to make force structure decisions on manning the Aero Scout aircraft.